Hey guys, welcome to uh, this week's episode of Rockin' H Wood Shop. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance because unfortunately I had sickness hit my family again in the form of a really bad cold with fever for my daughter. And uh, unfortunately my wife was working this weekend so I had to take care of her. I wouldn't say that's unfortunate, but it just means I didn't get out into the shop. It did give me some good quality time with my daughter, however. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys a really short rundown on some things that I've been doing. Moving this cart in and out with all of that weight on top of it, my driveway is very rough and it has a lot of pits and valleys from uh, just old concrete chipping out. As you know, I installed these uh, roller blade style wheels and for the most part, they did their job well, but they really weren't that high, high of a quality wheel. For one thing, the uh, flange is very thin and the wheel is very offset from the center part of the flange, so it made it very weak uh, at this ball bearing joint. And whenever I hit some really bad spots in the concrete, it would put a lot of stress on that ball bearing. And I kept one of the wheels, just to show you. Flange is here, and the wheel's here, ball bearings are missing, and so was the center part that hold it, held it all together. Um, and there was even a part right here on the wheel that had been flattened because it was just being drug along the concrete. But these were rated for 200 pounds. So the rating may have been understated or these wheels are just by design very weak. Um, so live and learn, I'm sorry. But uh, I went ahead and upgraded the wheels to the image that I'm showing you here. The flange is a lot thicker. The caster inside is a steel caster with a polyurethane uh, coating. It's not rubber but it's a very thin polyurethane coating so they won't flatten out uh, with that steel inside. I also put lag bolts uh, in place of normal inch and a quarter screws to hold them in place. Uh, they're still three inch, uh, didn't change except maybe about an eighth of an inch height, uh, which is nothing. Uh, it'll still keep the look that I want. Offset of the wheel to the center is a lot shorter of a distance so uh, they should hold up a little better than than these polyurethane roller skate wheels. But um, when it comes to the drawer slides, I actually found some really nice slides that were inexpensive at Home Depot. And it's not like you can't find drawer slides at Home Depot or Lowe's, but these particular slides I was very impressed with because they are a soft closing slide. There is a piston in the back here that uh, has a little catch that goes inside the, the part that goes on the drawer and just pulls it right back. It's a lot less expensive than those blue motion slides uh, that you would have to buy for really nice kitchen cabinetry. But these are rated for 100 pounds uh, per pair. And I'm not gonna come anywhere near that, but for 18 bucks a pair, I think is what it was, uh, or, or less regarding the width, uh, that was a really nice find. And I'm putting those in all the cabinets of the table saw. So I'm gonna have some really nice slides. When it comes to installing drawer slides, a little easy tip that I always do is putting the drawer slide at the very bottom of the drawer. Instead of guessing in the middle of the drawer where you think it's got to go here, uh, it's always easy to put the slide at the very bottom because there's going to be a 3 8 inch gap if you put the part that goes on the drawer at the very bottom of the drawer. So put the slide at the very bottom, then put the part that goes on the drawer at the very bottom of the drawer itself and then you will automatically have yourself a 3 8 inch gap that the drawer will have clearance for. Okay, this is the cabinet that's at the uh, end of my table saw, but um, these are full extension drawer slides, which is a very, very big plus. The fact that they're self-closing makes it really nice to be able to shut them and not have to worry about if they stayed shut. Again, I apologize for the poor lighting. I am outside and it is dark outside. It's about 10 o'clock at night. These right here are the skinny cabinets that are gonna go on either side of the table saw. And the idea that I had for these is like table saw uh, blades and dado sets and things like that. So it's just a, a, a one-sided cabinet that has a board that pulls out that'll probably have dowel rods uh, in a few places for the blades to actually just hang on. And I might even screw in a couple of boxes that run the length of it to maybe put some can whatever in there but um, I've still got a lot of work to do and I apologize again for not having anything really ready this week but 
working full time and then having a sick child at a wrong time uh, really threw a wrench in the works. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And uh, if you like this video, which you probably won't, <laughs> just give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll try and make next week a lot better. So until next week, guys, I will talk to you then.